Excuse me, little dog. <clears throat> Hi, guys. It is another cool, gloomy day here in the end times. It is Monday. It is a Monday morning. It is September 11th, 2023. September 11th. I know there's something special about September 11th, but I guess it's just all just uh, disappeared into my foggy brain. Uh, but speaking of foggy brains, maybe I have some sort of, uh, well, I know I have a foggy brain, but, but I got to say, I did not think I would ever be having a rant where I am saying three cheers to Ron DeSantis and Joe Biden in the, uh, <clears throat> in the same short rant. So uh, <laughs> I am uh, going to make this short and sweet because the old beating the dead horse I just couldn't resist it. The number one story on the planet right now in the mainstream media on September 11th, the number one story on Yahoo News from the New York Times, no less. New York Times on Yahoo News on a Monday morning, September 11th. And this is the story that uh, the Yahoo news editors tend to uh, are talking about running. And this is about the corona panic showing up as the number one story about whether or not the corona panic is going to be an issue in the 2024 election. Uh, <laughs> and... I, uh, I'm just going to read a couple of paragraphs from the middle of this long analysis in the New York Times about the corona panic being a item, a major item of interest on voters' minds in the upcoming election. And first, we are going to hear from uh, my hero, Ron DeSantis, who is, has every intention of making the corona panic a, uh, an issue during this election. <clears throat> Take it away. This is uh, DeSantis on Thursday. Quote, I can tell you here in Florida we did not and we will not allow the dystopian visions of paranoid hypochondriacs to control our health policies, let alone our state. Thank you, Ron DeSantis. And, um, and let me finish reading this. Uh, DeSantis is taking advantage <clears throat> of an apparent shift in the national mood on the virus, even among Democrats. Just 12% of Americans, 12% of Americans now say they typically wear a mask in public, according to this one of these latest polls. Uh, after First Lady Jill Biden was recently diagnosed with corona panic, President Joe Biden joked with reporters at the White House about the fact that he was not wearing a mask. Although he had tested negative, Biden said he was told he needed to continue masking for 10 days. <clears throat> Quoting Joe Biden, don't tell them I did not have it on when I walked in, Biden said, holding up 
is mask. <laughs> there you go. Uh, so Joe Biden with his own wife uh, having corona panic. Uh, e e even Joe Biden ha has had enough of this mask bullshit. Uh, I guess joining the 88% of Americans who are fed up to hear w w with this fucking bullshit uh, 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 about these goddamn masks. Uh, and I'm already seeing it here in Ithaca, New York. Uh, I've noticed that the employees at Habitat for Humanity uh, now have these fucking little face diapers over their face uh, here in Ithaca, New York. And, and I am just thanking, thanking God and Ron DeSantis. I am, I am thanking God and Ron DeSantis that I'm getting the fuck out of Ithaca, New York when in about six or seven weeks and heading back to the oasis of freedom known as Florida, which is exactly what it was uh, when I was living in Florida. <clears throat> so, you, you know, where I would spend my summers in Ithaca, New York, which, of course, this is the mask Nazi capital of the world, Ithaca, New York the poster child of the little limp dick lefty fear strangled sheeple in their fucking masks going from here <clears throat> down to Florida leaving this goddamn uh, capital of fear strangled sheeple and heading down to the oasis of freedom you know, in the years, you know, 2021 20, and 21 into 22, that uh, I split those years between uh, New York and Florida, and uh, it was an absolute day and night difference when, when you would pull into Florida and nobody was talking about this shit. You know, in November of 2020, right on up through uh, April of 2022, uh, just going right on about their business. Uh, I, I would leave here uh, with all of these goddamn you know, signs on every fucking restaurant and bar and whatever, uh, not letting you in without wearing one of these fucking masks, go down there to Florida, and, and all of the restaurants are open, uh, and, and apparently this full capacity, the restaurants, the bars... The music venues, the sporting venues, people going right on about their goddamn business. Uh, while a few uh, old, sick, fat people died. Uh, I, I would like to do a... Uh, spend the 10 minutes it would take on uh, of research to do to compare the fatality rate of uh, corona panic uh, between New York and Florida uh, and, and, and see the difference. Uh, anyway, but I'm not interested enough to do that, but I just had to take a few minutes out of my day to uh, say thank you, Ron DeSantis and uh, Joe Biden, for bringing a, a little bit of breath of sanity to this shit. There you go. And I am heading back to the oasis of freedom where Ron DeSantis 
with all I can say about uh, Ron DeSantis, at least Ron DeSantis did not and will not allow the dystopian visions of paranoid hypochondriacs to control his state. Anyway, that's all. Get out there and enjoy staying out of the line of fire of the paranoid hypochondriacs. <clears throat> this is not saying that corona panic is not real. I would uh, m make a comment about a personal friend of mine, uh, but I will hit the edit button. And no, Michael Campy, I'm not talking about you. <clears throat> Bye, guys.